Willie D Live. What's up, family? A young man disrespected his sister, his mother, his grandmother, and his father. And for that, his father put hands and feet all over his body and was praised all over social media. I ain't got no problem with that, but some of y'all do, so let's talk about it. Most people are in agreement with the father. He did the right thing. There are some people, no, he went too far. All that wasn't necessary. Family, look, I'm one of the type of dudes who believe that if you have to use corporal punishment first, if that's your first, if that's your default when dealing with your children, when you're trying to administer some discipline, you're doing something wrong. But it doesn't look like this appears to be the case. It appears to be that the father pleaded with the son many, many, many times, gave him, as he said, pass after pass after effing pass. And he just kept on messing up. So dad had to come over and administer some parental justice. Yeah, he said the boy had told his mama F you, told his grandmama F you, tried to fight his sister and some other kids in the house, and threatened him on the phone, said, on God, he'll whoop him. So the father stepped in, went over to the house to check him. You know, like, yeah, you know, I'm tired of you, man. I gave you pass after pass after pass, and each time you say you're going to do better, but... Nah, you're not changing. So, you telling me you want to catch a fade? Here I am. Get your fade. And dad started putting hands on him. Oh, he gave a little effort on trying to fight back. Just a little bit. But he was no match for old school dad. Yeah, fam. Yeah, that was absolutely necessary because he was way out of pocket. And I'm going to tell you something. Dad may have saved his life because where dad was just putting hands on him to teach him a lesson, there are people out there in the streets that will put hands on him to kill him. There are people in the streets that will pull that trigger and take his life. It's not like the dad was beating on him for not doing the dishes or cleaning his room. He was beating on him because he was beating on his sister. He was disrespecting his mom. He told his mom, man, who tells their mother, F you? Some things I can't even fathom, that fam. I mean, I can't do it. I can't fathom telling my mama something. Man, do you know in my family that could get you killed by your own mama first and foremost, but the entire family would turn on you. There ain't no refuge for a disrespectful child in my family. Like if you disrespect your mama, ain't no refuge, ain't nobody gonna cover for you. Nobody wants to be around you. A little different these days. Some people look at that like it's some type of badge of honor. And salute to the mother for walking outside. Typically, when a dad put his foot down and it's time to put his foot in his the mother be like no don't hurt him leave him alone they try to step in mom dropped her head and walked right outside <laughs> that's how you do it you gotta be on the same page mama understood now he need to be taught a lesson he think he bad he think fat meat ain't greasy yeah so he has to be taught a lesson. The streets gonna handle him a whole lot differently. Now, hearing how the, the dad's language were calling him the N-word and all this, that, that's something I don't rock with. I don't, I ain't never called my son that and never will call my son the N-word. But I guess I can understand the, you know, the, the passion, you know, the frustration, you know. Uh, 
The dad says, since you want to be a grown man, you want to act like you're grown, I'm going to treat you like you're grown. And I guess I can kind of relate to that. If you want to act like a N-word in the streets, I'm going to treat you like an N-word in the streets. So that's what I gather from that. So I give the dad a little grace for that. Give him a little grace for that. But I hope that when he got through putting feet and hands on his son, that he had a conversation with him. Because just putting hands on somebody because they get out of line and they say something disrespectful, they do something that you don't like, expressing that is not enough. You got to break it down how having this type of attitude, this type of mentality, this type of behavior will affect you in the future. How it can derail your entire life in the future. The dad has to break that down to him because sometimes people don't really get it unless you break it down to them. You know, they know you're mad and that's why you're whooping them, but you got to explain how that behavior can harm them in the future. Growing up, I used to hear people say, you can, you know, hey, listen to your mama, listen to your teacher, do your homework and and make good grades. And you can be anything, you work hard, you can be anything you want to be, even the president of the United States of America. But they didn't tell me that, hey, man, you can't be uh, fighting on your, your the people in your community and you know, beating up the kids in the neighborhood and beating up your classmates, those are going to be your constituents. You're going to need them to vote for you if you ever run for office. If you're going to run for president, you're going to need them to vote for you first. You know, you're going to need to, before you can become president, you have to run for some municipal positions. You know, you got to be a city council person or a commissioner, you know, a state rep or something like that before you can, you know, take the leap into becoming the president. And also, by the way, Willie, you can't be stealing uh, candy out the store. You can't do none of that. If you want to be the president of the United States, you know, you're going to have to have, uh, you know, a clean record and you got to build trust. People have to trust you to vote for you. You know, nobody told me that. They just said, you know, you can work hard and do this and that. that. You can be the president of the United States. Anyway, fam, what do y'all think of this? Did the dad make the right decision? Was he right? Did he? Can anybody see where the dad went wrong at all? Let's get back to that grown statement dad made. Dad said, since you want to be grown, I'm going to treat you like you're grown. Well, you can treat him like he's grown all you want. But in the eye of the state, in the eye of the court, he is still a minor. So putting your hands on a minor is still a crime, even if it's your own child. And I'm quite certain that he's going to be punished for that if he hasn't already. Another thing, fam, why in the hell does everything have to be broadcast for the world to see? Keep your private business private. Under no circumstances should we be allowed to see something like that. Now, it's absolutely a learning moment. But this is something that should have been in the house. This is something that should not have been published for the world to see. Give me a thumbs up if you're with dad. If you think he did the right thing, give me a thumbs up. If you think he's completely out of pocket, thumbs down. Drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk.